Hold on tight. The future is arriving faster than we ever imagined. The future is closer than you think. It's not just a distant dream, it's unfolding right before our eyes. The human augmentation market is exploding. Experts predict it will reach a staggering $675.767 billion by 2029. This rapid growth is driven by groundbreaking advancements in science and technology. This isn't science fiction, it's our reality. Every day, scientists and engineers are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and robotics are no longer futuristic fantasies. They are becoming integral parts of our daily lives. They are the engines driving a revolution, a revolution that promises to transform our world in ways we can barely comprehend. Imagine enhanced bodies and minds capable of feats we only dream of today. Enhanced vision, strength, and cognitive abilities are just the beginning. This isn't just about living longer, it's about living better, stronger, and smarter. It's about enhancing the quality of life for everyone. North America is leading the charge in this exciting frontier. From Silicon Valley to research hubs across the continent, innovation is at the forefront. But with great power comes great responsibility. We must navigate these advancements with care and consideration. We must consider the ethical implications. How will these technologies impact our society and our humanity? Will these technologies be available to everyone? Or will they be reserved for a privileged few? Or will they create a new divide between the enhanced and the unenhanced? The potential for inequality is a serious concern. These are questions we must confront head on. The choices we make today will shape the future of human enhancement for generations to come. Even the military is getting in on the action. The integration of cutting-edge technology into military operations is no longer a distant dream, but a present reality. NATO recognizes the game-changing potential of biotechnology and human enhancement. These advancements could redefine the very nature of warfare and defense strategies. Their new strategy is bold to harness these technologies for a safer and more secure world. By leveraging these innovations, NATO aims to stay ahead in the ever-evolving landscape of global security. Imagine soldiers with enhanced strength, stamina, and cognitive abilities. These enhancements could revolutionize how missions are carried out, making them more efficient and effective. Imagine medical advancements that could heal wounds in the blink of an eye. The possibilities are mind-boggling. Such rapid healing technologies could drastically reduce recovery times and save countless lives on the battlefield. But NATO isn't naive to the risks. They understand that with great power comes great responsibility. They know that these technologies could be misused. The potential for misuse is a significant concern that cannot be ignored. That's why they are emphasizing responsible innovation and strict adherence to international law. Ensuring that these technologies are used ethically is paramount. Education and open dialogue are crucial. By fostering a culture of transparency and continuous learning, NATO aims to mitigate risks and maximize benefits. We must ensure that these advancements benefit all of humanity, not just a select few. The goal is to create a future where technological progress serves the greater good, promoting peace and stability worldwide. The idea of super soldiers might sound like something out of a comic book, but it's a very real possibility. This raises a whole host of ethical dilemmas. Is it fair for some soldiers to have abilities that others don't? What about the potential for coercion? And what about the long-term effects of these enhancements? We need answers. These aren't just military questions, they're societal ones. We need to have a serious conversation about the kind of future we want to create. Military leaders, policymakers, scientists, and the public all need to be part of this crucial dialogue. The stakes are simply too high to ignore. Section 4. Responsible Innovation, a Global Imperative. The future is not preordained. We have the power to shape it, but with great power comes great responsibility. As we venture into the uncharted territory of human augmentation, we must proceed with caution. Transparency is key. We need open and honest discussions about the potential benefits and risks of these technologies. We need to establish clear ethical guidelines and regulations, and we need to ensure equitable access. These technologies should be available to all, not just a privileged few. The future of humanity is at stake. Let's make sure it's a future we can all be proud of. Section 5. Shaping the Future of Humanity We stand at a crossroads, a pivotal moment in our history. 
The decisions we make today will determine the course of human evolution, impacting generations to come. The future is full of possibilities, both exhilarating and daunting, filled with challenges and opportunities. Our social systems, healthcare, education, the workplace, need to adapt to these rapid changes. We need to prepare for a world where enhanced humans live and work alongside the unenhanced, creating a harmonious society. This is not the time for fear or denial, but for embracing the unknown. It's the time for courage, curiosity, and collaboration to push the boundaries of what we know. Let's embrace the future, but let's do it responsibly, with a sense of duty and care. Let's work together to create a future where human potential knows no bounds, where innovation and compassion go hand in hand. The future is ours to create, a canvas, waiting for our collective vision. Let's make it a bright one, filled with hope, progress, and endless possibilities.